Hello again and welcome to another edition of The Real Ale Guys. Today's beer, <clears throat> going along with the same sort of theme, um, the nice label, quite funny label beers. This is Monty Python's Holy Grail, or you can read it as Monty Python's Holy Ale. They've crossed the G and the R out. Um, it says it's tempered over burning witches, it's, the alcohol is 4.7% in the volume. There you go there. Back of the bottle. It's by Black Sheep Brewery. There's the bottle cap. Uh, let's pour it out. Let's get it straight out. Oh, look at that. That is fantastic. Oh, it's coming out. A little bit carbonated. A little bit carbonated. Um, a finger head. Nice foamy like head going on it. Oh, it's very. Oh, it's very fruity. Very fruity. And slightly hoppy. Um, I'll just give you a quick read on the back of the bottle. Holy Grail is brewed at Black Sheep Brewery and the address, which is um, Ashman, North Yorkshire. Then you got the ingredients. It's in a pint bottle and it says serve at about 13 degrees. <coughs> it's probably not that warm, man. <coughs> I just got it out the cupboard there, so it's probably about that in the kitchen now. Um, it's an amber ale. Nice lacing on the glass. It's very, it is, this one is definitely a fruity, fruity hoppy ale with a dry. I'm getting like a dry bitterness as well afterwards. Mm. The Stone the Crows is a good ale. It's a good ale. It's not as. I've had a lot stronger recently. I've had a lot stronger tasting. I mean, I can taste it. It's it's fruity. It's a hoppy, fruity type of taste with a with a, a like a dry bitterness, but it's not. There's not an awful lot of oomph about it. it, it it's it's very nice, but it's 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 not a big bang in your face taste, which I do like. I do like it when they're they're very very floral or they're very hoppy or they're very malty when you've got a really complex beer going on um, this one it kind of happens and then it fades away a little bit but it's a nice beer um, right this Monty Python's holy Grail or Holy Ale. Um, it was um, brewed to celebrate um, the 30th anniversary of Monty Python. Um, pardon me. I like, I actually like, um, there's a picture of God's hand there and he's holding all sorts of bits and pieces, castle and whatever in there. I like the brewery. Um, the beer range includes Rigwalter, Yorkshire Square Ale, which is next to review in their range. That's the last in their range. Um, Golden Sheep, Black Sheep Ale, and this, the Holy Grail. Very, very strong range. 
different varieties. Um, probably, I'd say my favourite out of their variety at the moment. I'll probably clarify that a bit more when I when I finish the, um, the Yorkshire Square Ale. But if I was to go for one of these beers in their range, it would be the Rigwelter. It, it was it was more my my tasting beer. This one's four percent, four point seven percent the volume. It's, it's a, I taste a medium tasting, and it dies off. It, it, I mean, you could have a few of these without really thinking about it. If you wanted a really complex um, brew ale, then this is probably not your cup of tea. But it's nice all the same. It's nice all the same. But it don't blow your socks off. That's what I'm looking for. It doesn't blow your socks off. But, you know, could be a... I think the best out of the Black Sheep Breweries range, as I say, is the Rig Welter. Um, you can contact... Black Sheep Brewery, they've got their website on you, well I know it off hand anyway, it's www.blacksheepbrewery.co.uk, just found it there, sorry I apologise, it's www.blacksheep.co.uk, um, okay, back to the taste. Yeah, it's, um, it's quite hard to really dig this. Um, I've said it, it's not blowing my socks off at all. It, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a good ale, but if I've seen their range in the shop, or if I've seen another beer, I'd probably go take another one off the shelf. I probably would leave this... There, I think. I mean, I don't like to to ever put a nail down because there's so much craft and energy that goes into them. But there are better rails out there. This is, I'd say, just above average. I'll rate it. Let's rate it. Uh, I'm gonna give this a six. A six out of ten. From the real ale guide, it's it's just above average. Um, it's a lot more complex than um, your mass-produced bitters, your Worthingtons, um, your Boddingtons, your John Smiths, your Tetleys. It's a lot more complex than them beers. Them beers are just they're very watery in it. They're not very nice at all. Um, I would choose this over that type of beer or ale, bitter, but I wouldn't choose this over <coughs> your craft, any any real craft, real ales in the bottles. Um, so it's a six out of ten from the real ale guide. I'm just going to tell you a little bit more about myself, where I am. You can follow me at on Twitter at Real Ale Today, um, YouTube, comment on my YouTube channel. Um, if you like what I'm saying, if, if you've had this beer and you totally disagree with what, what I'm saying, let me know, let me know. It'd be interesting to have a little online chat with you. Um, subscribe to my channel. I'm on Facebook at, on, call me Real Ale Guide, I'm Real Ale Guide on Facebook. And you can email me at realaleguide at googlemail.com. Okay. I think I'm going to round things off now. Thanks for watching the Real Ale Guide. I'll have another review within the next few days. Cheers.